Lily Singh is a prime example of failing upwards due to the bigoted and prejudiced practice of identity politics that liptards love to engage in. Now, most recently, Lily Singh had a horrible talk show, which was full of cringe-worthy moments. The show actually lasted a lot longer than it should, but of course, eventually it got canceled because even the woke tards who like to play blind to obvious failures couldn't even play blind to her show. I mean, uh, Lily Singh, for those who aren't familiar, she's one of these obnoxious YouTubers that was then later on brought into the mainstream to become something, basically to be a representation token, you know, because her whole routine is to const constantly mention that she's brown and that she's a member of the alphabet sex call. I mean, that's her thing. And she's not funny. She never will be funny. And she has little to no talent, you know, outside of being an, an obnoxious YouTuber. Well, since her failure of a show, she has been rewarded, of course, because that's what Hollywood does. Recently, she got a TED talk <laughs> about uh, three days ago. She got a TED talk. And when you look at the title of her TED talk, it says, at the seat, I mean, she says, at the seat, or at, a seat at the table, there you go. She says, a seat at the table isn't the solution for gender equity. Let me repeat that again. A seat at the table isn't the solution for gender equity. So basically that's saying, I'm going to bitch and complain and play the victim no matter how much access I receive, no matter how much success I receive, especially off of little to no talent, I'm just this token to play victim, and I'm going to continue to play victim. And that's what the mainstream, the idiot mainstream, utilizes people like that for, to play the perpetual victim, even when they become massive successes off of little to no talent. And obviously, as you see here, she's been rewarded with another project. She's set to help ruin the Muppets because Disney Plus has decided to greenlit the Muppets Mayhem comedy series, which is a series by the Goldbirds creator, and it will feature uh, Lily Singh as a junior A&R rep trying to manage the Electric Mayhem band. And let me read what this article has to say about it. It states here, The Muppets are getting a brand new show. Disney Plus announced on Monday it has greenlit The Muppets Mayhem, a new comedy series starring The Muppets and Lily Singh. The series will follow the Electric Mayhem band as they record their first ever album. Singh is playing Nora, a junior a &R executive, who has to manage and wrangle the mayhem that is the band of Muppets. The Electric Mayhem Band is made up of Dr. Teeth on vocals and keyboards, Animal on drums, Floyd Pepper on vocals and bass, Janice on vocals and lead guitar, Zoot on saxophone, and Lips on trumpet. And again, as I stated before, this series is being developed by the creator of ABC's The Goldbirds, Adam F. Goldberg. And Goldberg will be partnering up with Bill Beretta and Jeff Yorks. And obviously these are characters based on Jim Henson. Jim Henson who probably couldn't even get a job in today's uh, racist, woke racist Hollywood. So yeah. Um, the Muppets, obviously, a lot of people are familiar with these characters. You know, I used to enjoy the Muppets, but Disney now owns them. 
And Disney is doing what Disney does, set to ruin yet another franchise by having Lily Singh star alongside the Muppets in a comedy series. Knowing full and goddamn well this bitch ain't funny whatsoever. So this just will be another horrible show. But maybe somebody who dares to watch this series will at least be able to get some good content out of it. Because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of things to highlight. Especially Lily Singh and her horrible attempts at being funny. But again... This is yet another classic example of failing upwards.